But he comes out worse for wear in the end. Neo gone. Guardian wraps back around. Then it's going to be Bialy down in the end to just Snacks. Does find one. Oh, no. Let's not leave him out of this. The Big Apple and Snacks is hungry. He's got one kill already on the USP. Low HP as well on Guardian and Flamey. He's trying to bait them out, trying to get them into one on ones as he dances back and forth between the box. What a shot on Simple! Oh, Guardian, bye bye! And it's on to Flamey. He's tapped it. Flamey's got a big. What in God's name is that from Snacks? Unbelievable! If you guys want to open up free cases, make sure to use the codes in the description on pandaskins.com. Every video will have two new limited codes so make sure to use them ASAP before everyone else. Also make sure to use code SCENERY at referral when you deposit for a free bonus as well. You can open insane cases for nice profit like I did here with this legend of Anubis AK and withdrawing your prizes is quick and easy. I withdrew to Steam and PayPal and you can too. So go grab your free cases and bonus right now. Good luck have fun my friends. Hope you enjoy. He's gonna go for more! That's the bomb down! And Forrest eventually there to shut it! But there's just been too many losses. Great hold from Astralis. It's just a great job, isn't it? 30 seconds again for a one versus four. He's already got the one kill. Tapping away and taking down 25 seconds. He is looking for the straight ace clutch to try and get back in this game. That would be a bit of a miracle once again. He's picked up the bomb and he wants to go upstairs, make it a bit of noise. He's trying to see if he can juke them out and just be as noisy as possible. Maybe they're going to be looking the wrong way, but they're hiding in the corner. Oh, he's oh, no. going to be going down. How is he turning? Now it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Meg is coming in. He's just out of the bomb forest. He needs one more kill. We'll be in historic clutch if he can do it. The grenade landing on top. He's down to 50. Oh! Oh! See if they can strategize something to kind of deliver a result here is Majeski. If he needs to find a frag, yes, he actually gets him out. So now it's very doable. Here is the Ooh. frags just coming through. Freiburg finds one onto death, but he's just onto apps. They should close this down very momentarily. The bomb DP is coming out all the way. But Freiburg actually manages to get one. He's done this before. It's the one-on-one -on -one situation. No. He finds a third frag. He can't win this. Thinking, this would be absolutely disgusting here. Android needs to shut this down. Freiburg just, he needs to play time. This is his round to lose now. He's taken it from a four-on-one -on -one situation. He does it again. That is so disgusting for Freiburg. But there you have it. 4G. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's you kind of have to make that storyline a thing because we already saw a huge comeback from Fnatic in the first round, in the first map, excuse me, on Inferno. And we know you've said it enough times, and we've definitely seen it proved that Dennis is extremely good on these pistols to start that momentum off. Fast play, very fast play, and there it is. Oh my god, Dennis on cue, on point, all three kills again. I'm done. Don't even buy guns. Just this guy could use a USB for the entire game, and I would be convinced. Because G2 certainly has to be convinced it no might be the ace to Dennis with an absolutely perfect round. The smoke from T-Spawn onto Connector, I think that is, or Jungle. Can't really remember all those smokes after the new update. This is their smoke. And now, oh, AC doubles up, triples up, what is that? That's criminal! AZ's looking unreal down in CT. What's to try and get more done? And oh my goodness, AZ! What a pistol round it's been from him! The ace as AZ steps up. There's a flank, 30 seconds on the clock, and again, Hellraiser's slowly moving in. Samir running distraction now, 20 seconds, and they've Angel's made his way out, but the other two are still just emerging right now. Ooh. Oh no! Samir, well, he's got a kill at least. Now he's got two. Can he stop the bomb from going down? Of course he can. Really hard to plant the bomb in that situation, and Samir will <laughs> make up for it by uh, pretty much taking out everybody else. I mean, it's kind of an ace. <laughs> Pasha though, four versus one. We'll see if he can do anything with this. Bombs down and connected, there's the first kill. Something to build upon, but I'm not believing just yet. Up against the double orbs, and Ooh. all right, now we've got a chance. 50 seconds he's got time to work with with Bomb as well. They're divided. Are his biceps big enough to push the plow? because it's stalled and they need to get to a gas station. They desperately need a round. Back through vent, potentially, doesn't want to chance it. Movement gets slowed, has the sight to work with. Lucas, oh, just barely goes under the crosshair. Walks in when he looks away, what a shot! What a shot from Pasha, six HP. Plants as open as he possibly dare in the sight. And how does he choose to approach it? Stay on the AK because an AWP was down. It's gonna be a one-shot wonder. He's gone towards CT. 
Fans will urge him over, and he's going to be audacious. He's going to go all the way back to events. Haney just came from there. This was a one versus four. The play of Pasha's life, it's planted so open. Henny's gonna have no idea. Smoke goes on to it. He's not peeking it yet. Pasha needs patience. Henny spotted. He knows he's not on it. Gets him in the open! Papa Pasha! Push it all day long. The plow's got wheels on it still. End up just battling their way back. Mihu gonna be showing up with the eagle. All right, pretty decisive once again. The bomb is there. He knows it. Oh, no! Lands a headshot on Intas as well. He's about to get shot on the side of the head, but he does turn the corner. Hobbit is behind him, and Exile is right down there in the middle, ready and waiting, and that should be a one fight, but somehow it's not. Mihu, he's so good in this game. He turns around. Oh, and he gets it! What a clutch! Unbelievable! A bomb side from Kunoris to contest. Now the retake is on. They have a defuse kit in the hands of Krucha. They have some grenades as well. Oh, there's going to be the flash coming in from heaven. The Molly though will slow things down and so far nothing really happening. This HE might be huge and it does so much damage. There's the flash and NATO from the backstab gets the first towards Neo. Man advantage, Taz with the immediate headshot. Four versus four and Taz pushing. Reiko with the quick double and this pistol is just going. Everything's going in the way of Kunoris and now NATO sapping in the one versus four gets the 4K with the Glock. What the hell is that? A CT pistol round. If you're playing a position where a rush is likely, let's say you're playing the balcony on Inferno. Let's say you're playing the drop on Cobblestone when it was in the map pool. Um, still available on Facebook, of course. Or another place. A, fi a, a five seven and or a smoke to a company. It can be super powerful. We've got Yugi on the side with a USB and Gade in a normal spot. That's a very nice shot from here, man. He will allow his teammates to run this crash. And Gade, what are you doing? That's four kills from him. Monstrous. There's the ace as well. That was nasty from start to finish. That was absolutely disgusting. I think a great crossfire going to come in as well here for Renegades. They see Ilya is blocking out vents. They need this frag on the Dexter as well because he needs to turn his attention in a full 180. They're both coming, actually three players coming from CT. Dexter, you want to get that kill? Ask it to swing three. Can he get the fourth now in a one-on-one? -on -one, I get Sterling. Working Scott Sterling shut this down. And he's oh not able to. Azer gets a 4K and gets Renegades on map point. Far back, walking into the smoke, easy kill for Rain. Does get shot on the side of the head by Bondic and up on the high ground, Nico. Not hearing the bomb plant, so finally Hellraisers have something going their way. Kerrigan scoping up a lot in the back. They should be able to hear that he's back here, so he's got to be careful. And now up on the train as well. Does he see the shadow? I think he finally did, but he doesn't get the flick. Bondic with a double kill instead. Kerrigan not really aware of what's going on, and Bondic still taking the fight. He gets the quad kill, in fact. Now it's Alu, last one left. Bondi comes up. He wants the ace. He's gonna get it. All five players. Bomben plans must durchgehen. Keine Zeit mehr. Macht er auch den Mausports. Wartet auf Oscar. Das war die richtige Entscheidung. Der kann sich da Engine holen. Nur noch Kalyx on spot. Kommt da nicht mehr weg. Und jetzt gehen sie zusammen vor. Aber der Double Kill von Kalyx. Was war das denn? Unglaublich gut. Er könnte hier das Ace machen. Er macht hier das Ace. Ich glaube es nicht. Was war das denn? Im 1 gegen 3. Er holt alle vier Headshots insgesamt. This is so important round. Urger is going to add a little bit of another nail to that coffin. As Edward is your last man standing. Supreme play on the first map. A little quiet here. Bomb is going to go down, and it's a 1v3. This is it. He's got to always play for now. M4 in hand, has got a Molotov as well. Smoke goes down. He's on the other side of it. Oh, could make something of this, you know, as all three players are waiting for him. He's going to push through. How is this going to go down? This is insane. Edward, he gets one. He gets two. It's down to a 1v1 here. A trend against Edward. Bomb planted, smoke in, Edward, that molly goes out, the trend's on it, oh, and Edward goes wild! The final seconds, keeping Na'Vi alive! It took him 11 rounds, but he's, he's found it. <laughs> I don't he's know found what to do, you guys. He's, he's, he's found it, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> Needs, needs, needs a little bit there of work. There is some polish, but, but we're not even you on your way. There you is, go. Though. Okay, That's Macro. the goblin. 60 seconds left, and I mean, this is kind of exactly what you know Letgro 4, isn't it? Yeah. Just these silly, silly, impeccable kills. aim. Yeah, exit frags. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, where's Tiffy? Remember his 1v5 of the AWP? Hang on a second. When he was right, saving. This is a oh my god, he's got four kills!
10, yeah. H 10 HP as well. He's not winning this. Don't say these things. 35 it. seconds. It's not no possible. way. Oh! Oh! <laughs> juicy. Very juicy. Defending. Smoke just went out. They're going to challenge it. Dead Fox on the other side. He gets the one. But inside of the bomb site, there's Bondig with a massive double kill, taking down Hobbit and Adren. And now they're going to try and move a bit closer, actually shooting him right through the box. And he still manages to pick up the triple. So that's just a very, very good job on his part. Now it's on Mo. One versus three. Bomb goes down, and they're already coming through right in his face. He's going to have to be very careful. They do end up sort of falling back. I'm actually a little bit shocked. They had already put in the flashbang, so I assumed they were just going to be running it through. Now they've all gathered up, and it's going to be Angel down first. Oxic and Isa have to play together for this one. Leg shot is in. He can really do this. The pistol's out, and Mo going to pick up every single kill. And while this could serve as a way to deal with Bubsky, something he's definitely not going to be ready for, it might allow a bomb plant at a bare minimum here for Mad Lions. And indeed it has. Rush arrives a little bit too late to stop the plant. Bubsky domes the first. Oh, and the follow-up on to Ovo. Now, looking oh. for even more. It falls onto Rush in the 1v1. Bobski. Oh, no way. Not. 1v4. And he locks it in. Oh, this is such an odd spot for Axel. It's, it's reminiscent of how he held A on Ancient, you know, like this yeah. kind of position. Just a real odd one. Like, how are you going to con that Im immediately? He, he should be have the element of surprise for at least two. And look at this. Oh my lord. Axel nearly wins the round in one spray of his magazine. That's nuts. Look what he's done to them. NIP just had to find one man. It was a 4v1 on the site. Exile takes three with him. Holy. And now Linus asked to clutch. He's lost his teammates. And it looks like he could lose this round. Does strike into the first. They're grouped up on short, and this reposition is everything. They're crouching in on him. Next target found. He's not looking the right way. Oh, Linus! Lovely Linus saving the ninjas. <laughs> Anything Axel can do, I can do better. The multi-kill clutch. Let's go. <laughs> Four CTs to encounter towards short. Good flash catches him off guard, but what more can he do? One good shot on MOTM. Second man spotted as well. Up against OC, he sees him, but he can't click the shot together. Over towards Ram. He gets another 1v1. Up against OC. Poison goes ham. And that's an ace for Complexity's eighth. A massive round from them. At the moment, they haven't been able to find all too much in these gun rounds. Dodo does pick off the first. That's Sol Sol gone. He's one of the problematic players they had to deal with towards Pop Dog. But Hudson on that secondary AWP has found the first. And they're collapsing. Hudson, what a quick shot on the second. He's really made this a contestable round. And what? Hudson's got it all. Why not? Three kills, the four make it a fourth. He's on for the oh! ace. And Hudson has found it. Mad Lions look so hot right now on the CT side. And Hudson is styling on him. Lots of money though there is though for Gambit, so they couldn't try right. and take down any weapon. All of them are beneficial at this point in time. The Immortals now feeling like they know what to do to challenge this banana position. The Gambit has sent even more firepower there to bring more HP This is so smart. Team. Oh, this is huge. Doji's throwing a nade into the corner just as the bomb's gonna go off. They're both gonna go down. Seconds can take the first, but Murbit is quiet, wounded. Oh, oh, ships. And I don't think they have him on a radar, do they? They most definitely don't. He denies the plant, and now, now he just has all the opportunities to play around. Mermit is still there on the side. The head has been spotted. He comes by and takes all him out as well. You are just brilliant! Peachy oh. thrown over the wall, but I think actually Ethan may have screwed that up a little bit. Now he's pushing through, leading the charge with low health, and it's a great spray down. The Krieg here stolen from the previous round. Lucas with a triple. Pistols out and tapping away, taking down Cirque. What a defense. Didn't see the kill pop up in the feed. But he will have another crack at a shot. And this time he does deliver. Oh, nifty. That is disgusting. And look where the bombs drop now as well. Unreal plays, purely off sound. Instinct. And he will strike. Azza from behind. Claims a kill onto Captain Mo, and now somebody has to clutch a one on two. He's got time, and as has been tagged down to 43, somebody will be able to claim the bomb, but what can he do with it? He knows that Nifty's up in heaven, and therefore his rotation to A could be cut off. But if he can scamper past, then the A site may very well be ripe for the taking. There's a small crack. 
that he can see and somebody's landed the scout shot. Now this round is back. Oh, 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 oh,